Welcome to this lecture on commodity mapping. I am Yul, and together with my colleague Ya Ching, we will introduce you to what commodity mapping is and why it's useful. Agricultural commodities are commercial crops and animals that are grown or raised on farms or plantations. Their worldwide exports are worth trillions of dollars. Commodity maps show the dynamic production locations of different commodities. Here you can see on the slide an example of a commodity map. Commodity maps are useful for a variety of reasons, including the following. First of all, agricultural expansion is an important driver of deforestation and forest degradation. In combination with data on deforestation, commodity maps can provide insight as to which products are produced after deforestation in, for example, protected areas. It is important to note, however, that while follow-up land use provides an indication as to what commodities are associated with deforestation, the follow-up land use after deforestation is not always the actual deforestation driver. Imagine, for example, an area where a plantation is opportunistically planted in an area that has been deforested by a natural fire a few months prior. Secondly, Commodity maps can foster estimation of greenhouse gas emissions and removals after deforestation, as different commodities are associated with different carbon stocks and greenhouse gas emissions. For example, a big forest or big trees store more carbon than small bushes. Thirdly, commodity maps provide companies and consumers with insight into their product supply chains. But there might be many more applications for commodity mapping. Perhaps you can think of some. In this module, you will learn important skills to get started on commodity mapping. Uh, two things are important to keep in mind. First of all, land use forms the basis of commodity mapping. Other than land cover maps, which show the physical land type, for example, grassland and water, land use maps indicate how people use an area. For example, for a livestock grazing or a fishery. The difference between land cover and land use is not always straightforward. Think, for example, of the commodities that you will be mapping in this tutorial. Spoiler alert, cocoa, palm and rubber. Are we talking about land use or land cover here? Perhaps surprisingly, these crops are agricultural land use classes. Land cover maps will generally classify such crops under forest. Once they reach the canopy density and height, usually 5 meters, to suit the forest definition. Also be aware that land use is generally difficult to map, as it requires expert interpretation. Some commodities are even impossible to map directly from land use. For example, products such as leather and beef cannot be mapped, although their production areas may be derived from livestock grazing. At the end of this tutorial, you will be an expert on commodity mapping, ready to do some interpretation. Good luck!